I'm really excited to talk to you guys. I absolutely love Countdown to Christmas. I love Hallmark movies. I think they're so important. Uh, you know, JC, I saw the one that you just recently did. And for a plus size girl like me, like it just was so empowering. And to see you in another Hallmark film is just makes me so excited and feel so empowered. Um, your guys, this movie that you guys are doing, you know, My Southern Family Christmas sounds like the biggest ball, a uh, messy ball of complication that could possibly be in a movie. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I don't know if I'm far off, don't know if I, I'm there because, like, literally to prepare, I got like two paragraphs for this, but I'm really excited to hear what you guys, how you can tell us what you can or can't tell us about the movie and a little bit about your characters and why you wanted to do this movie. Mm -hmm. Do you want to? Uh, yeah, I'll. Yeah, tell us about introduce the movie. Uh, it's uh, so it's about the stories about uh, Campbell Wallace. Uh, she's a uh, I play Campbell and he plays. I'm Jackson Shepard. Yes, and uh, Campbell is a uh, travel journalist, and she, in the middle of trying to pitch a story for work, she gets contact. She her stepmother contacts her to uh, try to rekindle her relationship with her long lost father. And she lives in Texas, uh, yeah, in Dallas, Dallas Texas. Texas. And uh, and they live in Sereno, Louisiana. And um, at the same time, he's being made Père Noel, which is the equivalent of Santa Claus for the town. And as he's being handed off this uh, new title in his life, he's feeling nostalgic about uh, not knowing his daughter. and so. His wife contacts Campbell, and so she pitches that story of the Père Noël to her job, and she ends up going and uh, meeting uh, the family and um, and me and the town's record keeper Jackson Shepherd. Jackson Shepherd, and I wear glasses very similar to yours. I'm yes, um, and Good it's it, it's a Thanks. yes, yeah. It looks very good on him too. Uh, it's a it's a very neat story about uh, families mm -hmm. reuniting and uh, family ties and how important that is in uh, getting to know yourself. And through that journey, she discovers more about herself and mm -hmm. you know how open she can be and and what she wants and doesn't want in her life for herself. And I think it's been a really big struggle for her. I think you taking the first step to even come down there and you know right. have the thought of meeting him was big for you, and then just the whole process of your self discovery throughout was right. was really fun to watch. Yeah, and she as a record sound. She keeper. yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking yes. notes. <laughs> yes, um, but also uh, in the in the movie, she she doesn't tell him immediately that she's his daughter. Um, she she because the, that's the struggle. She doesn't know if she wants to tell him. So she uh, uh, you know is there to write the article and that's where that's where we meet them and that's how they get introduced and, and we go from there and they build a friendship yep. and it's it's uh, it's an interesting way to to get to know someone. And, and I, I get to help like family. guide her. Yeah. Through the, through the process and figure out like, you know, cause she struggles so much and I'm kind of there keeping my mouth shut with, with the whole situation, but helping her through different scenarios. Right. And like how you were saying about, you know, how um, romance and style was inspiring. What I think is uh, inspiring in this movie also, and we've been talking about that, is that the love story isn't at the forefront. It's not the driving storyline in the movie. And that's it, That's something that Hallmark is, is veering to. And I think that's a really clever approach because um, it's good to see uh, family oriented and, uh, you know, it's, it's of very family moment for Christmas. It's it's very appropriate, and uh, and so it's an interesting uh, dialogue and relationship to uh, explore at that time between a father and and his daughter. And, and Christmas um, is such a, a coming together of families that you know even if someone watches this and is able to say, hey, maybe I should reconnect with a family member that I haven't talked to in a while, or you know get back together with their family. Right. And that, during Christmas, because you know it comes out on on Thanksgiving, so maybe in that next month or so they have the chance to, to reach out. To reach out. Is it something that I yeah, it's that inspiring one, yeah. in that way to, to hopefully get them to do that? Let yourself fantastic. be vulnerable yeah. enough to give it a chance, especially around Christmas, yeah. when that's what everyone's craving is family. 
And yeah. have a southern Christmas too. Yes. So they have alligators <laughs> instead of reindeer, which is yeah. sorry what? Yeah. Yeah. So it happens in Louisiana in uh, Sorrento, a Cajun uh, part of the. Yeah, the, the Christmas stage. hat on top and of the so alligator. It's all Cajun culture inspired, yeah. and it's and it's it's really fun. It's a nice twist on regular. Like literally, there's like hats on. Like, are the alligators leading the sleigh? Like, I'm in, I'm tra like entranced by this. Like, yes. I'm like, wait. Yes. So it's it's the names part are, of the names. So there's there's Analcy, there's Gaston, there's some. So they have like the, I, know, they have like five the, instead the of Rudolph, Rudolph and yeah. yeah, they have Blitzer. five alligators. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, it's there's, also fun there's a book. He, so Bruce Campbell plays her the, her father in the film, who's fantastic. He's the pair Noel. But he, you know, he instead of riding in on a, a sleigh, he rides in on a flat bottom boat. It's like a, a Christmas temple kind of built on the back of the boat with suspenders on. And the so idea is he's being, he's being pulled, pulled by, by alligators, alligators in the water. Yeah. Uh, but it's a cool, you know, it, me being from the South, you know, we didn't do that because I didn't have alligators really in Texas, but we do. But, but coming there and getting to learn a new uh, tradition and mm -hmm. customs of different places and getting to see that, you know, the Santa Claus is riding up in a in a boat. It was kind of uh, <laughs> different and fun. Yeah, that's. I mean, honestly, I didn't expect that. That's kind of amazing, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing that because yeah. you get this idea that Santa Claus is just everywhere, like so. And, and reindeer it's right is around there. the corner. I mean, I don't know where are you. I'm actually in the city. I live in New. Oh. I live in Astoria. Oh, oh okay, yeah. okay. So we're right next to you. Wait, Astoria. Um, that's yep. is that Goonies. No, like, no, just like um Astoria? across the bridge from Manhattan. Oh. oh, I think there's another Astoria, maybe. I don't know. In Oregon. Oh, really? There's another Oregon. one in Oregon. Yeah, that's where it is, Oregon. Oh, 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 yes, oh, that's oh. The, where is it supposedly the oh, Goonies. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, no, this is, this is a very specific Sorrento yeah. movie. We actually and filmed there. And it's about American oh. tradition that we, that most people don't know about so it's a great way to see that too. And, and getting to actually film in Sorrento and Baton Rouge like you know a lot of the the people in the film a lot of the extras like were telling us their traditions of doing this and how mm. what Père Noël means to them and uh you know we get to film with this kind of what do you call it Creole what was this coffee shop Oh yeah, so it's like so it was there's the Cajun first time village. The south, so the Cajun village uh, that had been so there for beautiful. years, but they actually had alligators there. Yeah. She, we have to go walk back and see the alligators. Yes, um, you I'm know, have, that. have some beignets, but yeah. it was very cool getting to hear their stories of like that tradition and a custom because I never Didn't really heard of, about hear about it. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate the insight because now I'm going to look all this stuff up before I do the review and make sure that I do like one that's sensitive to the traditions and not be like, why yeah. the heck is there not a reindeer? <laughs> like, yeah. like, like that on Christmas. it is a specific Christmas and it's fun. It's like, uh, it's a great Emily uh, Moss Wilson who, uh, there are two writers and Emily Moss Wilson is actually from uh, that area of, she's, she's from director. Lake Charles, which is very close mm -hmm. to Sorrento. And uh, she grew up doing the traditions that we do in the movie. So it's it's very authentic and uh, really fun. A lot of the names, Bergeron, like it's all very, very yes. uh, Southern. Yeah. I love this. Speaking of traditions, what are your guys' favorite holiday traditions? We, my family being from Texas, we usually do like a kind of a crawfish boil where we throw in, you know, potatoes and corn and crawfish and, you know, uh, onions and you know do that the night before and then uh french toast with strawberries christmas morning mm. uh you know it's a lot later now than it was when i was a kid you know i'm yelling for my parents at 4 a.m like, like it's time to get up like <laughs> he's like not the one I'm at the top of the stairs like mom dad I'm like go back to bed <laughs> talking at the you know door. now i roll out at like 10 a.m i'm yeah. like oh. it's like we've been waiting for you uh, -huh. uh so i'd say that the crawfish boil and the in the french toast for me it's also very southern yeah, I'm yeah. I didn't know they had crawfish boil in Texas. Yeah, I did it for my high school graduation, too. Oh, cool. I, I did not know that either. Yeah, mm. it's weird. I yeah. thought it was just like Louisiana. No. That's it. 
You're so wrong. it's a good now list you, of I, traditions. The more you know. Yeah. yeah. The more you know, the more you, more know. you know. Uh we in my family I have a very big family. We're about thirty when we spend Christmas together. Oh. Um that's my family in France. I uh I'm from France. I grew up in France, moved to the States about six years ago. Um and uh we don't really have traditions. I mean, we my dad makes a crab dip every year. That's the big thing is my dad's crab dip. I and mean, he talks about it for weeks before it happens. And is it it's good? Very, it's very good. Okay. I didn't like, like it before, but now I'm, I'm a fan. So, so like maybe like, it's that thing where it's like he makes it. And, then and no one wants to be like the one no to tell them no, that it's no, not no. good. No, no, no. It's requested by oh, okay. the family. Okay. It's also, he's American, and so it's the it's the American touch that he brought to. I don't know that mm-hmm. the crab dip is American, but uh, I don't know. They don't make it in Could France. So, uh, And then one fun thing that we do every Christmas, but that's just, I mean, it's, I guess it is a tradition. I had never really thought about it. We, we play, we usually play one game of um, flashlight tag. Wow, okay. Uh, at night, okay, Just because there are thirty of us, and we usually rent like a house, and uh, and usually these houses are pretty big because you know to accommodate so many people, and so uh, it's it's a fun time to go and like turn off all the lights and just have like a flashlight, and and one year we played and my and someone forgot to find my one of my last cousins, and so she lit, missed dinner because we were, oh really we all moved on. Oh, yes. <laughs> so. She's like. She remembers. It was traumatic for her. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at your cousin. <laughs> oh no, we, we laugh about it. She's but still she, there. No one's she's seen still her. waiting. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's funny. I forgot about that. That we do that. Um, it's interesting watching it change too, as you have nieces and yes. you know, like with the elf on the shelf kind of stuff, and yeah. uh, and you know, being on the other side of it is is kind of a cool concept. And now you know, doing all that fun new Christmassy things, new traditions yeah. as, as they come along is, is pretty fun. Thinking about though, you know, like sometimes families would do like hooves from reindeer, like they'd been there. Mm-hmm. So I wonder, oh, that's so smart. So now I wonder if they do like alligator pro, uh, prints <laughs> yeah. in, yeah. in Louisiana. Just leave like a scale. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, look I that up. Like that. That's that would be amazing. I mean, having that an alligator like in a... your house is a little different than yeah, a reindeer. Yeah, seriously, it's less you know, comforting. Or it's, yes, it's like... <laughs> I think it might scare children. Yeah, no. Although they're very friendly alligators, so. Are they? Are they though? <laughs> not, not that they exist, but like in the book. Oh. They're friendly alligators. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, gotcha. guys, it has been great, but my time is already up. Yeah, um, sorry, oh, wow. we talk a lot. No, no, no. <laughs> but I honestly, I loved this, and I loved like all the insight that I got, and I, I can't wait for your movie. I am really super excited. I cannot wait to see you both in more things. And, um, you know, honestly, I'm going to look really be spending about 20 minutes right now looking up research about alligator Christmases. So yes. enjoy. Have a good time.